The next topic, staying on the trend of quarterbacks. About a quarterback that's not doing that well, just like Carson Wentz, but the head coach, unlike Carson Wentz with Doug Peterson, saying that it would be a knee-jerk reaction to take Carson Wentz out of the game. You got another head coach and Ron Rivera saying, I am losing my patience with Dwayne Haskins. I cannot continue to wait week after week after week while we continue to lose football games and have not won a game since we last played in week one. Lost against Arizona in week two, and then again, lost against Cleveland after that three interception game from Dwayne Haskins. The question is, will Haskins be replaced as the starting quarterback in Washington? Lots to unpack. you got to look at the options that they have at quarterback, and then you've also got to look at the team that they have in Washington. This defense, I still believe, even though it really hasn't been showing with Cleveland, and it really hasn't been showing against Arizona, I still believe that this defense is talented enough to be one of the better top 15 defenses in the NFL. With Dwayne Haskins, in regards to him and that offense, who does he have to throw to? He's got he's got Terry McLaurin. He's got Jontro Inman, who's been taking a step up. Steven Sims, yeah, he's had flashes here and there. Logan Thomas, the former quarterback, it's a tight end. He's been targeting him a lot. Hasn't really been producing that much. Has that one touchdown. And then you've got Antonio Gibson, the rookie, that can be a pass-catching gadget player out of the backfield. There's not a lot to work with with Washington. And that offense just needs to continue to build in the draft and free agency. They need continue need to they need to continue to make those moves in order to help Dwayne Haskins. However, as far as Dwayne Haskins, the quarterback, I understand Ron Rivera's pain. I understand that you don't have that time, you don't have that patience to wait around for Dwayne Haskins. You've already waited around for so long since last year. Granted, not with Ron Rivera, but you had that time for him to grow and develop. You had this whole entire offseason. At what point do you cut it off and say, let's move on? Speaking of the quarterbacks, if they were to move on, I think the first man that comes into everybody's mind is Alex Smith. Alex Smith is accomplished, just like how Matt Nagy moved on to Nick Foles from Mitch Trubisky because Nick Foles is accomplished. He has a proven track record. He's proven to win games. Foles went to the Super Bowl. Alex Smith, don't forget, has been to the NFC Championship in 2011. Alex Smith has his proven track record of not throwing so many interceptions that Dwayne Haskins has been tr- has been throwing. So that'll be a, a plus for them. And Smith has his track record of being a winner and being productive and getting, this is very important, this is the most important key, getting the most out of his players in whichever team that he's around. He did it in San Francisco. He did it in Kansas City. And now he can do it in Washington. And he was doing it before his gruesome leg injury. What a story for Alex Smith. Thought that his career was over. Not not his, even, even his career, his life. Going through surgery after surgery, getting that infection in his leg. His life was on the line. And he was eventually able to recover. Took quite a bit of time. But that doesn't matter. He was able to recover and now he's at full speed and he's able to, uh, he's cleared for physical activity and now he is on that Washington football team roster and is capable of being a starter in Washington. That's great news to hear if you're an Alex Smith fan. For Smith, he like we mentioned, he gets the best out of his players. We talked about that offense with Dwayne Haskins and how he doesn't have a lot to work with except for maybe Terry McLaurin. Smith, I promise you, is going to get the most out of that offense, regardless of who it is. Antonio Gibson, if Alex Smith were to play, would be a top running back in the NFL with his pass-catching ability on top of that. You've got Logan Thomas. He could be a productive tight end with Alex Smith under center. You've got Dontrell Inman or Steven Sims being that number two guy for Washington. Yeah, that could be enough with Alex Smith. Smith gets it done day in and day out and can continue to win for Ron Rivera and Washington. So we'll see if Rivera were to move on to Alex Smith 
or another guy that he's actually very familiar with with his days back down in Carolina, and that is Kyle Allen, quarterback, uh, the former quarterback of the Carolina Panthers, who took over for Cam Newton once he got hurt uh, after two games of the 2019 season and looked fairly decent for Carolina. Now, granted, a lot of his production and his stats was dumping it off to Christian McCaffrey and letting McCaffrey just go ahead and do the work. But why can't Antonio Gibson be that guy? He's got a little bit of a label as a game manager, Kyle Allen does. But like I said, Ron Rivera is familiar with him. And he has even said that if the season were to start uh, today, that granted this was back in the offseason. So without those activities and OTAs and everything that they had with the COVID-19 going on, if they were to go into the season without any physical activity at all, Ron Rivera has said that he will name Kyle Allen the starter over Dwayne Haskins because he's familiar with them and he's comfortable with them without any physical activities. Eventually, Rivera named Haskins the starter, but Allen could be a potential starter for Washington if it weren't for Alex Smith in the running as well. So leave your comments down below and chat with us as well in the chat if you're watching the premiere live. Who do you guys feel like could be the starting quarterback for Washington is is the Dwayne Haskins experiment over in Washington and are they moving on to someone that is more accomplished like Alex Smith